So I've been watching Astro Biscuit's YouTube channel and one or two others over the course of the last week. I don't know, for some reason, uh, my astronomy love has been peaked. Um, and he's certainly done so, as well as one or two others. And his channel, Astro Biscuit channel, um, is excellent. He really puts together a good story, a good video, um, and draws you in. In addition to him, he's got a guy called Richtenstein who does the music and sound for him. And all I can say is it's very much like a Top Gear type of presentation for astronomy. It really is bloody excellent. Anyhow, so he's piqued my interest in the subject again. And, uh, and I've got a Canon SX60 HS. And I used to be into astronomy when I was a teen and into my 20s, but uh, life and... Life and marriage and kids got in the way, you know? So, um, but I'm looking around again now for a telescope and mount, but it's hard to get exactly what you want for the right price. Anyhow, so I, t I take my Canon out on my patio balcony area the other night. Nice dark night. Jupiter is probably at around... I don't know, between 40 and 50 degrees high in the sky and um, maybe nearer 50 actually and uh, and I thought okay, let's try this out so I set the, the Canon up on the tripod just a, a straightforward camera tripod and uh, I got an interview uh, on low magnification or low zoom Zero zoom, in fact, and uh, and then once I did that, I pulled the zoom in and tried to keep it in view, and then all I did was I switched on the the video function and took a video of it, as you'll see here. Now, what you're seeing is you're seeing Jupiter overexposed and three of its satellites. Now I can't remember; I don't know which one is which. Um, but you see three of them. There's actually four of them in view. It's just that the fourth one is just sticking out of the limb. And I mean Jupiter's tiny as it is. So it's just sticking out of the limb of Jupiter. And um, at the 10 o'clock position. And to prove that, here's a photo I took. With Jupiter way overexposed, but you see what I'm talking about. 10 o'clock on Jupiter's face, you'll see that moon just on the limb, just peeking out. So that was the video. Um, then that was that night. But just last night, that is the 4th of September 2022, I go out again and I decide to just take a whole bunch of pot shots um, some of which came out really badly overexposed and others underexposed, etc. I can't remember exactly what exposure did this and what ISO rating, but I think the ISO rating was between 400 and 800. I don't think I did any 100, but I'm going to try 100 now. Um, so between 400 and 800 ISO and uh, an exposure of... Between, I'm guessing, but between uh, 125th through to uh, 1125th, somewhere in that region. Um, and yeah, this is what it captured. And I'm absolutely gobsmacked. So if this is what a Canon SX H SX60 HS can do. I'm just wondering what my dream machine, that is the Celestron or the Mead um, 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain, can do. Uh, I might get one. I might get round to it if I'm lucky. 
if I can find one at a decent price. Anyway, Canon, Canon, can. <laughs>